Hey y'all, so if you're new here, first things first, my name is Yvette. I know it can get kind of redundant when somebody keep introducing themselves, but a lot of the times I get people that's have like having twins or have twins and they're new here. So I want to introduce myself. My name is Yvette. I have two twin, well, two twins. I have twins, <laughs> a boy and a girl. They are now 11 months old, you guys. Oh my goodness. I can't believe time is flying. One thing I remember before having twins was I was so worried about what exactly do I need? Like, do I need two of everything? Like, it's going to be so much. You got to just get so much. And I just, honestly, I felt like I needed two diaper bags and I bought two diaper bags and I never used the second diaper bag so i wanted to do a video showing you guys what i have in my diaper bag twins edition now let me just paint the picture for you most of the time when i go out with the twins i'm not gone for too long i have never been gone like out the house more than I would say like four hours at a time usually when i go out with them i'm going out to the gym and i'm going out to run errands so that's where i'm basing it around um also some things that usually you would carry in your diaper bag such as a burp cloth i don't have that in my bag now because like i said my twins are 11 months so i don't need that now so just trying to paint the picture for y'all but for the most part everything i have in here you can use it for all ages for the most part it's some things in here that you do have to that they wouldn't be introduced to until they get a little bit older but yeah so you know if it's something in here that you can't necessarily use now if you haven't had twins yet or if your twins are young you know just fill in the blanks <laughs> with something else you know so let's go ahead and get into it you guys i'm gonna start with the outside of the bag if you get a diaper bag i don't recommend getting something that's expensive unless that's just if that's your prerogative that's your prerogative but personally for me it just I wouldn't recommend it because it gets dirty. This diaper bag, it goes under the stroller, goes on the floor. When we're out somewhere, if I'm in the bathroom trying to change them, it goes on the floor. So it just gets dirty. So I got this from Amazon. And once I figured out I was having a boy and girl, I wanted to get a bag that was a mixture of both colors. So it's gray and pink. On the outside of the bag, hanging on one of the straps, I have a, th these are diaper bags. So I'll take one out just so you can see. I actually got this from Target. When you get it from Target, it comes just like this. It has a roll in the inside and then you can buy refills. So you can use this to twist it around. Okay, I brought y'all closer so you can see, but this is how it looks. It's Arm & Hammer bags and it just comes out like this and you rip it off. I just don't waste it, one of them, but <laughs> Anytime that you change the babies, you could put this in here and just say, for example, you might not have a trash can around. So, for example, sometimes I've had to change their diapers while I was in the car. <laughs> so you could use this, put the dirty diaper in here and guess what? Tie it up and put it right back in the bag because it, it seals the smell. So it won't be it won't smell in your car or anything like that. So. I kind of just wasted this one, but I wanted to show you all how it looks. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this, you guys, because this has come in handy so many times. And, you know, as I stated, I got mine from Target. They have different um, refill colors, different scents, and everything like that. Now, this scent, I believe I want to say the blue one is the original. I did have another one that said that it was lavender scent, but honestly like this sounds weird but it really smells like roach spray so i don't like that smell like it's just it's just no but this is the original scent and it just yeah it smells it just it doesn't stink or anything like that and on the side of the bag they actually have a pocket that has a zipper this is meant for your wipes so sometimes the wipes have they're in packages where it doesn't have like a flip top. It just has like a peel. I'm not sure if you've ever seen that as a mom, but it's kind of like just a piece of plastic that you can peel back and put back on. Personally, I don't like that because I always end up losing the piece of plastic because it's not attached to the package. It literally can come off. 
but I like the flip top. So on the side of the bag, it has a zipper. You can just unzip it. And even with the flip top, I still can use it. I just open it up and I can pull out a wipe. So it makes it more convenient. So you don't have to put it in the inside of the bag and you can have it, you know, to quickly use. Let's go ahead and go in the inside, you guys. So I'm going to go through each individual thing that's in the bag, but I just want to show you guys right quick how the inside of my bag looks. All right, y'all. So this is the inside of the bag. As you can see, it's not filled to the top or anything like that. I do have a lot of extra room for anything else that need to go in here. If I'm being honest, I do use the inside of the bag to hold my wallet, things like that, because when you're when you have babies and you're have a diaper bag you try to use as little things as possible <laughs> in the inside of the bag i'm gonna start with this thing right here so i got this from amazon and the inside of the bag actually has this clamp I, I don't know exactly what's supposed to go here but it served its purpose so i got this from amazon and these are stackable containers i got well, this is like a periwinkle blue, but I got pink and blue because I have a boy and a girl, but they did have different colors and, and, and each one. So the first one, let me just show you guys. So the first one is their formula, as you can see here, and it does have a twist off knob in the front. Instead of you actually having to twist off the container, you could just open it right here and pour the formula out so that definitely comes in handy oh i'm trying to get it back up here so it won't spill and the second container that's where i have their cereal that actually goes inside their bottle and then and the top one is where i have a snack so the twins well particularly mainly Kaylani, which is the girl she likes these puffs from gerber she really likes them khalil not more. khalil is still in the process of trying to he just picky y'all that's all i can say but you can put snacks at the top soon they're not even going to need formula so then i can just start using these containers to put other snacks in there um maybe like some strawberries or just other or even like right here for example i have these little um gerber snacks they're called little crunchies and they're snacks for babies so just different things like this you can put inside of this and i just thought that this was so convenient because so this is what we were taking at first and if i'm being honest this takes up more space so wouldn't i recommend doing this <laughs> find you some containers honey find some containers they actually my friend actually did tell me about some bottles where at the top of it you can hold the formula and then all you have to do is squeeze the buttons on the side and it pours the formula inside the the bottle and you could just keep water in the bottle and then it just pours the formula however the only reason why that wasn't beneficial for me is because when i tried to put the formula and the cereal it was too much it would it, it it just wouldn't fit so i had to come up with a, an alternative because the twins have been on cereal since they were three months old the doctor actually recommended for them to be on cereal for other reasons that i'll talk about another time because that's not what we talking about okay <laughs> also in my diaper bag i have pampers now i have four pampers now as i was stating in the beginning i'm usually not out for a long time if i'm being honest you guys i don't even use these four pampers i might use two depending on if they do the number two but typically if i'm only going to the gym like let's say for example i'm going to the gym and i'm going to a store i'll probably be out for maybe two hours and during that time span their pampers aren't full so i usually just wait until i get home to change them but there has been times where khalil or kaylani waits until i pull up to the gym to do the number two so then i have to change them so i usually take four pampers two for each baby and yeah you just have to pretty much gauge once you once the twins get older and you you know they're your babies you start getting more familiar with their schedule and you know how many pampers you need how many of certain things you need and that's what it took for me you guys it was listen 
I'm 11, 11 months into this. Now I know I have a ways to go, but let me tell you these 11 months, I have learned so much about being a twin mom. And one thing I can say is that now, it's like I kind of know them more. In the beginning, it's kind of hard because you're like, what are you crying for? Like, you, what? What's wrong? Nothing is wrong. You're fed. You're changed. What are you crying for? Then, so it's like even though, even though now they can't talk, for example, I know with Khalil, if he's whining, that means he either tired or he used the bathroom or he's hungry, which typically they don't ever get to the point where they're necessarily hungry because I do have them on a schedule. But he's tired or he used the bathroom. Those two things. With Kehlani, it's the same thing. So I know how they are. And then I also started learning that Khalil, usually in the morning time, he takes a number two before around nine o'clock. It's like you just, as a mom, when you're around it, you start knowing how your baby is. So that's why I know that two pampers are, two pampers for each baby is enough. And you know, usually I don't even use this. But, of course, you want to make sure you have pampers in your bag because you don't want to be out there with no pampers, honey. So, I showed y'all the wipes already on the side of the bag. Now, as far as the changing mat, this did come with, the bag did come with a changing mat. However, honestly, y'all, I don't know where it's at. So, I found this on Amazon. This is a changing mat. It was only $4.99, y'all. And it said that it's a changing mat, yoga material, so it's soft and... You only need one change of mat. So let me tell y'all what I do. First of all, let me say it's very important for you to have a change of mat because even if they you even if the bathroom has a change in table, as a mom, I still didn't feel comfortable laying my baby on the table. Like no, honey, I don't know what's going. No. So I you want to make sure you have a change of mat, and plus the change of tables are usually hard and cold. So the change of mat makes it more comfortable for the baby. Now with twins, you, of course, even though they're twins and they're babies and they're siblings, you still want to be sanitary. So once I use the mat for one baby, then I'll go ahead and take either a baby wipe or I have some wipes from Walmart, Parents' Choice. These are called hand and face wipes. It says that it wipes away dirt and germs. So it helps wipe away dirt and germs. So I use this to wipe away, to just wipe off the mat before I put the other baby up there, you know, just to be sanitary. So I guess I'll go ahead and go into this item. I have these in here, the hand and face wipes, again, to wipe down the change of mat, but also because when I'm out, the babies sometimes make a mess if they're drinking milk then the milk will be left on their mouth and they'll start crusting up um or if we're even out eating and we're feeding them something you don't necessarily want to use a baby wipe on their face so i particularly get hand and face wipes also babies like to touch a lot of things so if they're touching a lot of things or even if i'm feeding them their snacks their hands can get messy because they're putting it to their mouth and then once it get wet and then the snack get wet and the next thing you know it's mushy and it's just so these come in handy for reasons like that <laughs> also i have pacifier wipes this is by the brand munchkin and the reason why pacifier wipes are so important you guys because first of all what i would recommend is to buy a pacifier clip and clip it onto their onesie whatever they're wearing clip it onto that because at first they did not have a pacifier clip and the pacifier will always fall out i couldn't find it things like that so once i got a pacifier clip it it, it helped so much you guys like i'm not even being funny or dramatic like it helps so much but when they're on the ground crawling if you think about it if the pacifier is clipped to their shirt it's just dragging on the floor and they will get to the age of where they can put the pacifier in their mouth by themselves so you want to use some wipes to wipe off the pacifier or if the pacifier happened to fall or just whatever whatever whenever you need to wipe off the pacifier they have pacifier wipes comes in handy <laughs> So now that the twins are at the age to where they can start eating, they're getting spoon fed, we can feed them food off of our plate. It's also bibs. When we go out to eat or anything like that, now the twins can sit in a high chair and sometimes we'll feed them something that we may be eating or, you know, 
anything like that but they can make a mess they typically you know they're still learning hand eye coordination hand mouth coordination so they can make a mess drop the food close like so many times i have tried to feed them something and then they spit it right back out so i actually bought these disposable bibs i take four because i know there's two babies but i just bring two more just in case they rip it just whatever reason i just it's better to have more than enough than not enough so they actually look like pads if you're a woman it looks like pads it looked like it's like in a little a pad package so this is how it looks they're paper disposable um bibs and i'll go ahead and link it below so you open it up and this is how it looks just like this they have this little pocket here so that it can catch the food that may drop and you just break it at the top and you peel off these two stickers and then they stick together for it to be secure around the baby's neck so this comes in handy so you won't actually have to carry bibs from the house like let me show y'all the bib that we have so this is the house bib that we have and this is just not you know you can carry this you can carry this with you if you want but this just makes it a little bit better so that once they're done just throw it away honey just throw it away next up i make sure that they have a change of clothes i usually only bring one for each baby um and both of these are sleepers the reason why i like sleepers is because babies they're so like like for example if i try to put a hat on their head they like to pull it off and anytime i put socks on their feet I come and get them from the back seat and the socks are gone so i like sleepers because it encloses their feet but honestly you guys cross fingers i have not had to change their clothes at all anytime we were out they've never had a blowout when we were out they've never like messed up their clothes to the point where we had to change them so i have not had to use a change of clothes yet but you always want to make sure you have a change of clothes just in case like you never no so i have two sleepers and i typically don't use anything where you have to put socks on their feet because they like to pull them off i also have two sippy cups in their bag so i have one in the inside pocket and then i also have one in the outside pocket now i don't know if anybody else is like me but i always lose the tops to cups tops to makeup bottles tops to toothpaste i just always end up losing it the same wipes that i mentioned as far as the pacifier wipes you can use that for their sippy cups their bottles whatever just to wipe it off before you actually give it to them to make sure that you know not even necessarily it might not even be dirt or germs but just lint can get on it you never know so i just use the same pacifier wipes to wipe it off that also goes for their bottles so the bottles i keep in the front now let me tell y'all exactly how i do it so i always make sure they're fed before we leave the house okay i make sure they're fed before we leave the house um if it's for any reason i it's not time for them to eat per se before we leave the house then i go ahead and make two bottles one bottle for each baby as you can see one has a top one doesn't because i told y'all i always lose the tops I don't know why I just do so two bottles for each baby now the front of the diaper bag is actually insulated so it keeps the bottle at the correct temperature so I make sure two bottles are already made and then push come to shove then they have the formula and the cereal in these containers so I can make another bottle y'all I cannot stress enough that you know unless you like that unless you just that mother I don't go out with them for a long time because it does get become a lot it does get overwhelming but you want to make sure that you have like a backup if for any reason this might start leaking the top is not on all the way just for whatever reason you want to make sure that you have a backup so this is my this is my backup I only use this when for some reason something might happen with these bottles for example if the top is not all the way on it might start leaking out whatever 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 may happen i have a backup right here 
and I also keep a gallon of water in my car so that I can make additional bottles push come to shove. I also keep blankets in the car. The age that the twins are at now, which is 11 months, I go ahead and put their jacket and their hat on before they leave the house so they don't necessarily need a blanket. And if I put a blanket on them, y'all, they don't do nothing but pull it. If I try to put it over their car seat, they pull it down. They, they, they know how to pull on things now. So if your baby is a little bit younger, of course, you can cover them with a blanket or they even have the car seat covers to where they're enclosed inside like you could put it over your car seat and you can zip it up and then it has a flip top that goes over their face but even with that i can't even use that now you guys because they're too long they're the babies are too long so they the they can't fit in the cover won't fit over their feet i just keep blankets and i keep water in the car just to make it more convenient you guys but if need be if you do need to carry blankets as you can see it was still more space in here where i could throw some blankets right on top Get, since they are spoon fed now i also carry two baby food pouches so i carry two baby food pouches and i use them use this for when it's time for them to eat because they aren't just solely on the bottle and we are you know transitioning them over to just table food and trans just transitioning them over to milk like whole milk so instead of formula so yes my babies are getting older but yeah so i carry two baby pouches also and along with the baby pouches, in the front zipper pocket where I keep the bottles, they actually have an additional zipper. And this is where I keep their spoons. And I also keep the scooper that came out of their can of milk. This is how it looks. So I have a pink and a blue spoon and then a scooper. The reason why I have the scooper is because as you saw with the containers, I could twist this off and just pour it right into their bottle. However, I have enough formula for both of them in one of these containers so i would need a scooper to be able to scoop out exactly how much i need per bottle and the same for the cereal and that's it y'all that's all that i have in their diaper bag another tip that i have is that anything that you can keep in the diaper bag keep it in there so you won't have to worry about keep putting like filling up their diaper bag every single time y'all go out so for example the pampers the wipes the hand and face wipes the pacifier even this because like i said i typically don't use it you could just keep that in there so they you know you can know that you always have a backup bottle in these containers and the disposable bibs the changing mat these are things that you could just keep in here so you don't have to worry about filling up the bag every time even when it comes down to their change of clothes i'm pretty sure you have an extra pair of clothes that you could put in here just so you don't have to worry about it because one thing i have learned from having twins listen make your life as easy as possible i hope you took something from this video if you do not have twins yet or if you're pregnant with twins listen do not worry you do not need two of everything i hope this kind of ease your worry just a little bit and if you already have twins hopefully i was a suggestion to you in some way shape or form and yeah if you have not already honey okay you see right there you see that subscribe button go ahead and click that okay so i'll see you all sunday bye